or iHeartMedia. From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeartMedia Studios worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, my first guest today, Julie Smolinowski, and she is the president and CEO of LifeWay Foods, and uh, web address is lifeway.net, but they also have a stock symbol, LWA Way, excuse me, A Way, LWAY, and this thing has been on an absolute tear. Julie, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, you're noted as being one of the youngest female CEOs of a publicly traded firm, and you have a huge accolade of uh, accomplishments behind you, uh, United Nations, foundations, things of that nature. Let me back up a little bit and allow you to, to, to introduce yourself to the audience and, and tell us just a little bit about, about yourself. Sure. So, um, I yes, I became uh, the CEO of Lifeway Foods after the untimely death of my father, Michael Smolanski, in 2002. I was 27 years old. Um, my parents founded Lifeway Foods in 1986 um, after uh, we were immigrants from the former Soviet Union in 1976, and my parents had an entrepreneurial dream to, uh, you know, have have freedom and um, just, you know, live the American dream. And so um, in, in 86, they started Lifeway on the idea of bringing a probiotic cultured dairy product called kefir, or kefir as some, some people like to call it, um, to the United States and make it a mainstream beverage that, that all Americans can enjoy. It's a staple in Eastern Europe and something that they consumed as children in, um, in the Soviet Union and throughout Eastern Europe. It's a staple and very, very popular, um, something that consumers and people drink every day um, for preventative and medicinal, you know, health and, and wellness. Um, and so, so my parents started the business. They um, saw that they were expanding really rapidly. There's a great desire for the product and um, awareness was growing around wellness. And at the same time, there was an interesting kind of combination of uh, political uh, things happening in our society where the, the the wall was coming down in the Soviet Union. Um, Americans were interested and fascinated with all things Russian. And um, so so my, my parents found the need to, to go to raise more capital. So they um, took the company public in 1988. And then I um, I basically joined my my dad after college, um, my brother joined us when after he graduated college, and he became the CFO. Um, and so, when when my dad passed away in 2002, uh, suddenly it, it it forced me into this role of uh, CEO. And of course, uh, no one believed that we could do it. And as a matter of fact, the stock the the day that we announced he passed away, um, the stock crashed, and uh, Nasdaq had to halt trading. And it was uh, it was a really challenging and trying time. Um, you know, our revenues at the time were uh, 12 million, um, and you know today they're at about 130 million. So we've certainly grown and exceeded uh, most individuals' expectations. And um, along the way, you know, I've, I've, it's been almost 13 years that that uh, my brother and I have been running the business, and um, and here we are. Well, and throughout that process, you took him from twelve to hundred over one hundred and thirty million dollars in twenty fifteen. You expanded okay. the distribution from just the United States to the United to Canada and also in the United Kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, when we uh, we hit that hundred million dollar threshold, uh, and and let me back up by saying that the kefir market in the United States is 
is well, we've created the category, and so the entire, just about the entire um, market share of Kiefer is dominated by Lifeway. So we, so we have 97 percent of the market share, and we're growing, you know, between 20 and 30 percent a year, um, and that's um, actually even bigger than than the growth that generally probiotics is even experiencing. Um, and for the probiotic global market. Um, is is expected to hit fifty two billion dollars by twenty twenty, and it's growing at a seven percent clip. So we're you know we're even growing faster than that that global market. Um, and so we realized that when we hit that hundred million dollar threshold in the United States with ninety seven percent dominance, um, that that it's time to look outside of the borders of the U S. and uh, of course, social media and the advancements of technology has kind of even brought those borders and boundaries down, um, making us closer to friends all over the United, uh, all over the, the world, um, and, and real time uh, connections. Um, and so, so yes, we we saw this need for global demand of healthier eating, and you know, I think what we know is that. All people want to be healthy. All people want to have access to healthy food. It doesn't matter where you live. Um, we all uh, didn't really need that that uh, food and, and bacteria, friendly bacteria, which is what Kiefer provides um, for good digestive health, for immunity, for um, you know, it's even been found to, to to reduce depression and stress and anxiety. So the science behind the product is really, really growing and supporting the growth in the product and the commercial, the commercial uh, availability of it. No. So, yeah, we expanded into Canada. We're in Mexico. We're in Hong Kong, Kuwait. Um, so, you know, and just continuing to look at that global expansion. You really, the vision is to build Lifeway into a, a, a brand with global icon resident, resonance. Um, so, you know, I equate it to, you know, we want to be the, the Hershey's to chocolate or the Tropicana to orange juice, Lifeway to kefir um, with that global presence. Now, it's with your leadership and the way that you market the product. And science on one is one thing, but actually getting it to market. That's why Fortune Business uh, recently named you 40 Under 40, uh, also 55 of the most influential women on Twitter. You, you, you've got that, those accolades. And that, they don't just hand those out in you know, a, a, a gum machine. You have to earn <laughs> that stuff. Talk yeah, to us there's about, a lot of work behind it, that's for sure. <laughs> let's talk about that hard work What and your products. I want to get into w- what the products are, but also how you managed to take your company that had to, they had to halt stock trading the day that you, did, you know, started to transition into the, your position and then how you got it to where it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that Lifeway is at the forefront of innovation and developing um, some of the, the, the best new trends happening in food. Um, I think, you know, first of all, there's this interesting thing happening within food. And I, I believe that food in general and the food industry is about to be flipped over on its head. Um, we have, you know, the top 10 multinational food companies in the world, multi-billion dollar multinational companies controlling, you know, 90% of what we eat. Um, and those things that they're putting out there are not always very healthy. And actually, I would say that they're contributing to a healthcare crisis. We spend, um, you know, trillions of dollars on, on managing health and uh, $3 trillion, actually, to be exact, managing health-related conditions that mostly are a condition of lifestyle and the food we eat. Um, so, so I think, you know, just, just that, that's important to have context. And what people are now demanding and, and looking for is transparency on labels, ingredients that have traceability, um, you know, organic and GMO continue to be driving a lot of this, this, this demand. Um, the natural food industry in general is going to grow to $252 billion by 2019. Um, so, you know, there's a, a huge demand for, for new and, and innovative, healthy products. That's one thing. That's, that's helping us kind of grow and develop these and, and, and look to like our consumers for feedback for what they're looking for. Um, so one of the things that we did early on was to change our packaging into, um, you know, initially it was a very medicinal kind of, I would say almost boring label, 
um, we, we invested into our packaging to make sure that we could really um, empower consumers with information easily easily readable information on our labels and we continuously always update and freshen those uh, to, to kind of appeal to the most important things that consumers are looking for based on consumer feedback um, and then you know I think one one valuable point to an, another part of our in, in innovation is that we really um, look for diversity in that feedback including moms um, and and moms are such a big part of our consumer uh, base. And, you know, I was at the age where I was, you know, my friends were having kids, I was getting ready to have kids, and I really watched how children were eating um, and, and what food mom was giving to, to their, their kids. And I noticed that you know, it was like this, you know, you feed a, you feed a child like six times a day, and it's like a 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minute feeding with the baby jar and the spoon, and it's like, the whole ordeal. It's like two to three hours a day that you're sitting and trying to feed a toddler. And so we looked for an innovation in the packaging and the pouch uh, delivery system was one of the most innovative things I had seen and so, 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 such a time saver. And so we found a way to, you know, put our kefir product into a pouch in 2007 we think, you know, right before the recession, this was a new package, it was incredibly expensive, but it had the highest quality of ingredients and a time saver. So this was like, you know, solving a pain point for, for mom. And um, we launched ProBugs in, in, in 2007, and it, it is one of the best selling products that we have. Um, and it certainly disrupted the entire food space for um, the baby feeding area. And, and you know, we're, we're expecting that in the next five years, the pouches are going to take up about 25% of the entire baby baby food space, um, which is just incredible when you think about like the baby jars and how you know, you know iconic those were. Julie, um, and, and yes, let, let's take a short break right here, and we'll come sure. back uh, with your with your children's products and the list of uh, other accomplishments you've got here for Lifeway. All right. Awesome. All right, we'll be right back with Julie Samowski, President and CEO of Lifeway Foods. That's lifeway.net and the web, excuse me, the uh, stock symbol, L-W-A-Y. You might want to pull it up. It's rocketing through to the moon. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Rodney Anderson, inviting you to tune into my daily radio show from 11 a.m. to noon on Talk Radio 1190 a.m. Listen in for sound financial advice, and I'll answer all your money questions and more Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. on Talk Radio 1190. Things aren't the same as they were when Geico started saving people money over 75 years ago. We didn't have reality TV. Back then, it was just reality the most exciting thing that ever happened was when Jimmy got his head stuck in a gopher hole. And trust me, that's not a show anyone would binge watch. Yep, we didn't have much entertainment, but switching our car insurance to Geico was pretty exciting. Geico, saving people money on car insurance for over 75 years. I'm Dr. James, founder of Diamond Physicians, a concierge medicine practice located in Dallas, Texas. Our Diamond 360 advanced physical exam has been created for people like you, who live a high-stress, fast-paced life. Every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. experiences a life-changing heart attack or debilitating stroke. Negative stress tests and normal cholesterol levels do not exclude you. Half of all fatal heart attacks occur without warning. Diamond goes beyond traditional medicine with the Diamond 360 Advanced Physical Exam, proven to prevent heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Contact Diamond now at 214-395-3491. That's 214 214- 395-3491 or visit our website at diamondphysicians.com to take the diamond challenge. If your Diamond 360 reveals perfect health, receive a full refund. Your loved ones will thank you. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war among the major term life companies and rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, for a man age 45 non-tobacco user, it's $1 million of coverage and $75 per month level rate for the next 10 years. Or a man age 50 non-tobacco user can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of only $110 per month guaranteed not to change for the next 20 years. That's right, level rate guaranteed not to change for the next 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for 
for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call today for a quote at 1-800-862-8376. That's 1-800-862-8376. You're probably paying more than you should. Call Term Busters at 1-800-862-8376 or visit our website at termbusters.net. Remember, 1-800-862-8376. Rates and availability may vary by state. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-tobacco underwriting. Exam required to qualify. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience, hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can with ZipRecruiter.com. You can post your job to 50 plus job sites, including social networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. And with ZipRecruiter's premium traffic boost, you can get up to three times more candidates. Quickly screen applicants, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. Right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. Plus, get 30% off your first traffic boost by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash info. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. Are you tired of exposing your retirement to stock market risk? Call 866-555-SAFE for your free safe money book. And join Brady Spears and Chris Novinger for the Retirement Experts Radio Show every Saturday at 9 a.m. here on 11. 90 a.m. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 a.m. iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. I'm joined with Julie Smolanski. She is the president and CEO of Lifeway Foods. That's lifeway.net, and the stock symbol is LWAY. It's on a massive trajectory. All right, Julie, you have uh, really created a lot of uh, um, a lot of movement, a lot of uh, kicked up a lot of dust around you. I mean, you're involved with the United Nations. You've also been voted by Fast Company's most creative people in business. Uh, you've got a lot of stuff, but uh, let's get back into Pro Bugs for Kids, but not just that. Uh, I wanted to talk about some of the things that you've done that has just completely separated you, given you the 97% market share that you have, and also the science involved in what's going on. I mean, you're a marathon runner. You know the importance of, of, of what this stuff does to your body. Not only that, but you're a mother and what it does to your children. Let's talk a little bit about the benefits of your products. Sure. So, uh, you know, one of the, the issues that we're facing is just the, the modern lifestyle and, and the, the disruption to our gut microbes that, um, you know, our modern diet, our sedentary lifestyle, uh, our over-dependence on antibiotics, and that all these issues have completely destroyed our natural bacteria, um, travel, stress, um, all of that disrupts the balance of our microbiome. Um, and, you know, it, we need to consistently replace that, that microflora in our gut uh, with probiotics like kefir and, and other fermented foods um, to, to sort of rebalance that um, in our body. Um, we know that the science is showing that people with less diverse microbiomes, they tend to gain weight, um, they develop risk factors for lots of serious health problems, including ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, depression, allergies, even cancer. Um, and, and much of that can be, uh, you know, supported or, or, you know, I guess in some cases reversed with a probiotic rich diet. Um, and, you know, there's over 2,000, uh, six, I'm sorry, over 6,000 published research articles that support the the need for probiotics and good bacteria in the gut, um, and so you know that 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 is I think what's really driving the demand for um, Lifeway and for you know products like Lifeway. So it's a really an exciting time um, when this emerging research is is coming out and supporting the power of bacteria. You know, this is a two thousand year old product. This was. Kefir and, and cultured food was around, you know, was written about in the Bible. Marco Polo wrote about it. Genghis Khan wrote about it. Uh, Cleopatra bathed in it. 
So, you know, and, and it really largely survived based on word of mouth and, you know, sort of the, the grandma, babushka selling, uh, you know, jars of kefir um, and in the bazaar um, in the Caucasus Mountains. And it was associated with longevity and wellness, but nobody really knew why. And now that science is catching up to those folklore. And so that's, it's really exciting. And, and that, that bacteria, we're just, we're, we, we haven't even learned everything that we can about the benefits of the bacteria and probiotics. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's going to continue to be a driving force in our diet and, and how we treat our body. Um, so, you know, it, it can really improve the quality of life and it saves lives. It's prevented people from surgery who've had like Crohn's disease. I remember a woman calling in our customer service line saying that she was about to have surgery. She's to have 80% of her de- uh, digestive tract removed on a whim. She heard about our product. She tried it. Within two weeks, she was symptom free. Um, no medicine, just good, healthy, you know, Lifeway probiotic keeper. And uh, that's, that's worth everything. That's worth all the hard work. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's exciting. How often should we eat? Uh, is it kefir? Kefir? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like every day would, you know, a glass every day okay. is, is a, a really powerful um, addition to your, to your diet that you can make. And it's, you know, probably, I, I would say it's one of the most affordable, accessible um, things that you can do for your body for a healthier lifestyle. Um, that, that's just really, really powerful. Um, yeah, there, I, I've read research that there's more neurons in the gut than even in the brain. And so, uh, so much of our immunity comes from the gut. And so, you know, kind of that over-processed foods that we, we consume, that just, it really, it impacts the gut and, and wellness. So those are things that, that we're seeing and, and that we know about. So, you know, I, I would just go back to like Lifeway and our operations. Um, because of all of the success that we've had, we knew that we were reaching and bumping into capacity issues. So last year, we invested in a new 200,000 square foot facility. Um, and we actually, you know, spent the last year working on construction and, and building the machinery up. Um, and we just ran our, ha- we had our first test run of, uh, of our first batch of kefir. And so, you know, we're getting ready to, to, to roll it out from that facility, which will get us to about $500 million in capacity. Um, so that's really, really exciting. It will put us on the map as the probably the largest kefir manufacturer in the world, but certainly in the United States. Um, so that's, that's exciting. And then with, with the new capacity coming online, we launched our first ever national TV commercial just this year during the Golden Globes and Saturday Night Live 40th anniversary. Um, so that's a huge, big step for us and for the industry of just healthy and natural food. Um, that's, it's it's a, a big milestone, I would say. And so, yeah, just looking to continue to grow that business and, and the fact that we have as much capacity as we need right now um, makes makes it really easy to, to fill that demand. Now, y- you don't stay at number one unless you're on top of your game. And hand in hand, aside from a great product that actually gets the results people are expecting out of it, you also have to get it to market. What can, you know, for the, for the young entrepreneurs who are trying to find a way to make a niche in the world, somebody who's actually done it, 97% market share is unheard of in any industry sector outside of maybe Microsoft. And that's massive. What words of wisdom would you would you put out there to somebody like young women or young men trying to to make it make it in in life and get the kind of results you've been able to achieve with your company? Well, I would say like solve a problem, you know, you know, solve a problem and um, use your skill to to make the world better in some way. I think one thing that millennials are really looking for is like they just they don't want to just support a company for the sake of you know the product. Right. They want to make sure they want to know that that company is also doing good in the world. That that company is supporting the community and the environment. That they're you know sustainable or, or have environmental conscious um, you know practices. And and that's one of the things that that Lifeway is also really committed to our products, uh, we use uh, renewable energy and put green energy back onto the power grid. So we're essentially um, carbon neutral in our manufacturing process. So, you know, things like that, you know, we we really do um, focus a lot on 
I, and I don't even say it's corporate responsibility because that feels almost like a marketing play. But, you know, my family immigrated in, and we were refugees. And that was only through the advocacy of, of good people here in the States who um, were willing to stick out their neck and support us. And I think that just resonated with me and something that I carry with forward in my leadership and that, you know, I want to use that platform that, that Lifeway has that I have to raise issues and elevate really important things in our in our communities to, to try to make it better. So I think that that's one thing is like use your skill set to, to solve a problem of some sort, solve a pain point that we have um, and be really responsible about it. And I would look to um, a new startup company. Um, for example, that just launched launched a fast, casual, healthy food concept. So, you know, you think about casual, fast food, it's generally unhealthy. But Freshy, um, founded by Matthew Corrin, um, just launched, and uh, Lifeway is actually serving frozen kefir in, in their stores, 25 stores as a pilot project. Um, if it's successful, we'll go into 100. And they're expanding, they're, they're looking at 400 stores. I mean, that's really brave to go up against some of the largest fast food concepts in our country, in our world, to, to be out there and launching kale and quinoa and frozen kefir is, is pretty, it's bold. Um, but I think that that's what the millennial consumer and sort of most people, I don't think it's just millennials, they want access to healthy food. Like the cat's out of the bag, you know, how, what you eat impacts your health. And if, if you're not paying for it with your food and, and, and buying quality food for your, your, your body, um, you'll pay for it on the back end on health. And that's, that's what I think we all are starting to realize. But you know, it doesn't have to be food that you're, you know, a young entrepreneur is interested in. It could be really anything. But I think, you know, solve a problem. And that's, that's one of the, the best ways, I think, to start out. Julie, we're going to need to end it on that note. But thank you so much for taking the time to come onto our show. My pleasure. Continued success. All Thank right. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Julie. Sm- I'm going to butcher this. One. <laughs> Thank you, Smolansky. Uh, President, CEO, Lifeway Foods. L-W-A-Y is the symbol. And L- Lifeway.net is a web address. If you haven't found it, you haven't been looking hard enough. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with Christopher Murphy, CEO and founder of Verisect securing the world's internet. We'll be right back. 